If you cropped your image using one of your original files, make sure you don't save the changes or you revert to the original before saving. In the future, take the PNG that you've already created that's full size and save a copy and then downsize the copy and you won't have to worry about destroying your original content. Now that you've exported that PNG, you should have a folder that has your last name on it and there should be at least four files inside. Your Photoshop file, the original PNG, and the original TIFF, and then the small PNG file. It's now time to upload them to Google Drive. Now you don't need to use Google Drive for our class. It's highly recommended though because everybody in the class will have an account because they're an SLCC student. If you choose not to use Google Drive, you can use Dropbox.com or some other file storage solution, but it's your responsibility to make sure that you can make it work for the class. Your instructor needs to be able to click the link and download your files appropriately. You need to be able to embed an image in the discussion, etc. So in order to get to Google Drive, you're going to go to drive.google.com. And when you get there, you want to log in with your Bruin Mail email address. And so I have another account here, Open Graphic Arts, which is uh, linked to our website, opengraphicarts.com. But if you click, you can choose to use another account. I would choose not to use your personal account for this. Always use your Bruin Mail. And it's important that when you log in, you'll use your Bruin Mail or your My SLCC username, jcurren5. But you can't stop there. You have to put the entire email address in. And that is at bruinmail.slcc.edu. This is not a slick website. And so if you do not put at bruinmail.slcc.edu, Google will not know that you're trying to log in using your SLCC username and account. You'll notice that when you add the at Bruin Mail, you can't enter your passcode because now you hit next and it's going to redirect you to the SLCC login. And so I have to verify my account, but I would like you to take a minute to log in, make sure you can successfully verify your account, and we'll pick up with this in the next video.